I had lovely clean hands at the start of the day. Right, so in today's episode, we're taking the engine out, the TD5, that's going in the G-Wagon for John. In the last video, we took the body off, me, Lewis, and Ryan. Did you help take the body off? Yeah. Was well, it you? Uh, me and Jake and yeah, Ryan. Yeah, there's lots of us that took the body off, and today we're gonna clean the engine down with some G1. We're gonna get it lifted out, because shortly, it'll be getting mated up in the G-Wagon with John from J. J W Fabrications, I nearly said J, two W Fabrications then. <laughs> right then, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a right good power stamp. We're gonna get some G101 from AutoSmart, which is a high cleaning detergent. We're gonna absolutely soak it down, get the power washer set up and get it all washed down. I was thinking of maybe taking the engine out first, then power washing it down, but I think it's gonna be more stable in place, and then we can stop and have a brew while it's drying anyway. So, right, I'll stick it on a time lapse, and we'll just get on and work away. Are you gonna help out today, Bella? Oh no, I'm gonna chill out, me. Right, so we're getting the engine out of the Land Rover today, right? That's the engine that's going in the G-Wagon. But the deal is, we're getting this engine out, we've got to get JW Fabrications to 1,000 subscribers, right? He's nearly there. He's 7.30 or 7.40, right? So the Shine Army needs to get together because I need his fabrication skills for free because we've got to get the TD5 engine in there and he's gonna make the mounts better than what I could because he's got all the stuff. Because I'd only end up making the mounts out of cardboard and going up there and getting him to, to cut them out anyway. So we need to get JW Fabrication to a thousand subscribers, right? This video and you lot are gonna do this for me because I know how much you enjoy the channel and I'm proper pushing out as much content as I can at the moment. With it being the bank holiday, I'm trying to do one every single day. Go subscribe to John. John and Ben are very, very funny. Right, they bounce off of each other really good. And Sam's just gone and done a, um, a generator rebuild from the ad. So Sam's been on their channel in quite a few of the latest videos. As you know, with every single G-Wagon build, we give away a t-shirt, and today it is a double XL t-shirt. So, thank you to Baxter and Breakers, Shane at Car Junkies, Shine Automotive, and Pura Pass, the men's mental health website. If you want this t-shirt today, let's lighten up the spirits. I want a really good North Yorkshire jaw. Yes, you can take the mickey out of me if you want. If it lightens up your day, 
and you want to say a Northern Joker personally about me, do your worst, right? So the one with the best jokes and the most likes by the next G-Wagon video, I will announce it in that one, which won't be long, because we're going to get John up to a thousand subscribers by the end of this video, hopefully. So right, let's get this engine pulled out now. Right, that is the engine washed off and John now is giving it a blow off. And the first thing we're going to do is disconnect the prop shaft. So I'm going to spray some duck oil around the props and we'll get the shafts, prop shafts out of the way and then we'll look at what else is connected to the engine. Get the radiator packs all disconnected, the, um, the pipe work all off, but leave the pipe work off the engine to make sure they weren't going to have any issues. So yeah, it's time to uh, start tearing the engine apart and getting it off this old chassis right now. Today's video, as you all know, is sponsored by Purapass, which is a mental health charity. And you can find them on the website, which is up above here, and I'll put a link down below. Men's mental health is so important. From no matter what age you are, whether you're a teenager, or you're knocking on, or in the middle, like me. If you've got an issue and you cannot talk to your friends, right? and you shouldn't feel worried about talking to your friends. If you have a mental issue, something going on, anything, and you can't talk to your friends, go on the website and they have links to everybody that can help you because your life is important and you don't want to take the easy way out. And I'm sorry to say that, but that is the easy way out. Think about your friends and your family that you're going to put hurt on if you were to do anything silly, taking your life, right you are not alone and you can get through this please go and look at the website find somebody you can talk to if you cannot talk to your nearest and dearest there is support for everything gambling addiction or you think you might have a slight drinking problem where you're constantly drinking every night at home anything you know if you're not happy about your weight or anything like that so please i am asking you this is so important shine family that we spread the word of this website because it has everything there in one basket for where you need to go with your issues right let's carry on with the video Right, so hopefully now, the plan is our one and a half ton engine ice will lift the engine up and then we'll roll the chassis back. We'll have to move that van and then the engine and the gearbox can stay like this on a pallet or on a couple of tires ready to lift back up and chuck in the back of a van. That is the plan. So hopefully we've got everything disconnected. If not, I'll blame John. All my fault. Yeah, all your fault. <laughs> right, let's crack on.
No, we're all right. Can uh, are you all right? Steady in the engine onto the crane while I lower it down, or do you want to lower the crane down? I don't mind. Just basically, we'll sit it. Oh, you're going to sit it on the we'll on the legs. On, on the legs, might as well. It's not going to be up the end. Right, I'll get the tyre. Doesn't look so big now, does it? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that, compared to what came off the G-Wagon, which was about that big, it's incredible. Right, that's all the transfer box as well. Uh, mine's still in there. Is it going to sit above that? The it's alright if it sits on there. Just... Oh, hold on. Yes. Yeah. Are you ready? Are you happy? Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Oh my god. Is this not resting on that leg? No, no. Right, you've got there. I'll leave the tension on it, so. Yeah. Make it supported. It's safer. It's safer being there than dangling. Yeah. Dangling up in the air, John. Thank you for your help. Well, you're more than welcome. I know you want to get involved, don't you? Well, I like to get involved. <laughs> he's not in the way. He likes to get involved and he's not been in the way. <laughs> so, now the engine is out. Where's John? Where's John Wilkinson of JW Fabrications? We've done our bit. Now it's down to you, John. So, thanks for watching. The G Wagon engine's out and we'll see you in the next one. Try now. John, you've got to wave. He's waving. <laughs> Look at the size of the monster.